Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about Forza Horizon 5. It's the new game that just came out today, the standard edition came out today. I got to play it for about four hours, and I'm just going to tell you my overall views on it. I'll be making like a closure video once they release all their content in a couple of years. But for now, I love the game so much. It's got better graphics somehow than Forza Horizon 4. It's just, they made it better, and I don't know how they did it. Microsoft Studios did an amazing job. Um, got the same cars, but there's a whole bunch of new cars as well. They like to keep updating it like that, but keeping the same content that people know and love. Another cool thing that they added is at the beginning is that you, they give you three cars to choose from, but you get to keep all three of them. It's just the one that you drive for the first time. Um, a bunch of pre-order, uh, rewards are there and there's, it's way easier to earn money as well. Um, the game is just overall beautiful. There's more colors than the six colors that were in, um, Forza Horizon 4, because it was just like, I, I liked Forza a lot, Forza Horizon 4, it was such a great game, so fun, but it just wasn't, like, colorful enough for me, you know, I like a very, like, colorful, luscious green and yellow and pink flowers environment, but Forza Horizon 4, that's what it definitely lacked, it was sort of like this bland... Because it was in Britain, of course. It's sort of like a bland, like, overcast the whole time. Like, a lot of gray and a lot of, like, white. It was winter a whole bunch of the time. But otherwise, it was just a super... It, it, that was a great game. But Forza Horizon 5, I think, is set to be a whole lot better. The map is twice the size. There's way more things to do. I'm do. I, I'm only focusing on one event right now, and that's the um, cross-country. And there's there's so many different events that you can do just by starting and then there's this new thing I call it chores it's the whole discovery the adventure thing that you unlock by doing the events I just find it very amazing and very fun and it's it's time filling and it get and it's rewarding as well it the the CR the credit bonuses at the end of all the levels are like almost double what Forza Horizon 4 had while the prices are still close to the same as Forza Horizon 4 for new cars Speaking of that, not many people have started playing the games yet, so right now, all the cars in the auction house are very cheap, and I got met, like, a bunch of new good cars in that. Um, we have not, people have not determined the best car in the game yet, it still hasn't been decided which one's the best, we haven't done any comparisons, because it's been out for, like, 24 hours almost, but super fun game, the mechanics are just, ab just blew it out of the water, the mechanics are just great. The, the handling, steering, everything is just amazing, and it's it's way more smooth and fluid. And speaking of smooth and fluid, talk about their campaign. It, they, the storyline now is called The Campaign, and there's just so much to do, and the dialogue between the characters is just priceless to listen to because the, like, they actually could talk about and consider your characters now. Like, yourself, you are your own character, and you have to go and meet all these other people, but it's in a sense where they sometimes ride along with you in the same car, and explain things to you, and then there's, of course, it's a new game, there's plenty of bugs, lots of things are broken, uh, I wasn't, I was hardly able to convoy up with some of my friends today, just because it just, what it, they were, the servers are so jam-packed with all these new people, they need to open new servers, um, but otherwise, it, it just blew it out of the water for car games, it's, it's unmatched in any car game ever, asphalt, no, garbage, Gran Turismo, no, gone. Need for Speed, close, but I don't think I, Need for Speed is irrelevant at this point. They haven't been making Nintendo, and whoever owns Need for Speed right now has not been making new games, and it's just Forza's blown out of the water by dropping a game every five years. Five years is how long it takes for them to drop, drop a game, and, and Forza Horizon 4 was able to keep longevity. For those entire five years, they had a consistent amount of players, and it was just that, that popular. I know I'm yammering on a lot and a lot, but if you really want to get into this game, I will just tell you how to do it. If you own an Xbox, well, that's probably, that and PC are the only two consoles you can play it on. If you're a PlayStation player, sucks to suck, it's owned by Microsoft. Um, if you have an Xbox, get Game Pass and you'll get it for absolutely free. You won't have to pay a single dime other than Game Pass and you'll just do like a one month subscription thing. And you'll get it for free and you'll get free cars as well when you join the, the pre-order cars. And then for for PC, I don't really know how that works. I assume it's on Steam, but I'm not very sure. But the best way to earn credits is with the new um, the new format of campaign, which is going and 
getting doing races and you get all these like prestige points and then once it like all levels up and it's not like leveling up it's a different form of leveling up it gives it to you and now you have this this event that you can go and do and you just have to go it's like a checklist of things a checklist of assignments that you can go around and you do all these things around the map and then you get like I think for my first one, which was like the most basic one, I got 30,000 credits, and that's a really good start. But the best way to earn money, I suggest, is by going and just getting your skill points up on your cars, because it's the same system for skill points. Um, just get the skill points up on your cars, get the wheel spins, get money. And then if you find cars that you don't want, auction them away and other people will buy them. Just like Forza Horizon 4, you'll get plenty of money. And speaking of which... The interface is just amazing. You know how, like, if you pause it in four, it takes like the long, like, little cutscene where it like zooms into the wheel of your car, or the cut the the cutscene where it takes me to unlock a new skill point. It just does it instantly now, and it's just so quick. And it like it's it's a way bigger convenience to us now. We get way much more done without these stupid cutscenes taking up a few seconds of our time. It's just it's just a lot of convenience things that they fixed. And of course, there's plenty of bugs out there. I I just drove around for three hours today, and it I noticed many bugs in the game, but it's still open early access. They it's still open beta they will get their they they've got five years until they drop another game they'll have plenty of time to fix all the bugs many updates will be coming out i'm sure almost mu maybe one month after it releases maybe weeks who knows updates will be coming in fast and i just think it has the potential to be the game of the year or the game of the 2020s because i personally think this is a bold statement by my, by mine but i think that forza horizon 4 was the game of the 2010s you can argue all you want in the comments. I do not care. I personally believe Forza Horizon 4 was the best game from 2010 to 2020. And I think that Forza Horizon 5 has the potential to be even better than that. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if this helped you, just or if you have any questions, just be sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. Goodbye.